This is supposed to be a banner, use your imagination. And the banner is held up by a friction hitch. There it is. With a soft shackle. This video is for Bill, who asked about tying banners between poles. Today we're using white quarter inch Paramax. We'll start by taking one end and we'll roll our thumb towards us to create a loop. We'll take that loop and roll it down one more time, creating a window here. The standing portion we're gonna pull out and then tighten everything down. Now we're about to make a stopper knot. You need to make sure you put it through the right side. So here it's pointing towards the back. I wanna push that through the window and then pull it tight. If I put it through the other side, you'll get something else, not a stopper knot. So make sure you go through the correct side. Now we'll pull it tight. And now we have a nice little stopper knot. We'll go around our tree and we'll do a modified timber hitch. So I'm going to go around my standing portion and then I'm gonna wrap around the end I started with. Once, twice, and then this I'll pull tight. Now as I tension this line, it's gonna rub on the tree and I don't wanna damage the tree. So what I'm going to do is add a secondary loop. To tie these together, I'm gonna to do a type of bowline. Here I'll twist that loop. I'll take one end, I'll go in, around, and then back through the hole. This will be easy to untie once we put a lot of tension on this. Okay, so here we are, here's our loop that's protecting our tree, and then we have to tighten our rope along the ridge line. I'm gonna take my carabiner, I'll place it through the window of the carabiner, go all the way around, and now we're set. And it doesn't matter if you put this in backwards or if this opens up or if it uh, splits at the top, it's gonna hold. And so now from here, we're just gonna take this rope, link it in once, twice, three times, and now we should be able to tighten it. Now what you want to be careful of is all these turns slipping back towards the gate. You want it to be along the spine, and that's going to give you the most holding power. And then when you're done, to undo it, you're simply going to go back through your gate and pull it free. This carabiner has an elongated shape. If yours is round, it may not want to hold here, so here's your other option. If you have a rounded carabiner, you'll still cow hitch it in, but over here on this side, we're going to do an automatic inline trucker's hitch. We'll take a bite of our cord in our left hand. With our right hand, we're going to wrap around once and twice going clockwise. Then I'm going to pop it off, turn it counterclockwise, and then pop it back on that bite there. This loop here, we're going to take it over to our carabiner and pop it in. And now, we can pull our rope tight and keep all our tension with this trucker's hitch here. And when it's time to undo it, you just take your rope, you'll pull it back through the window you created and pop it back. With quarter inch Paramax, we can use these unreasonable shackles here. These you install by taking a bite of your rope, you'll place it through the shackle, go all the way around, and then let it fall into place. We're basically making a cow hitch around the shackle, but really it doesn't matter how it falls because it'll hold in any direction. So here we are tension our rope by pulling on it, but we want to add some extra tension. So what I'm gonna do is take my end near the tree and I'm gonna install another unreasonable shackle. Same way, pass it through the top shackle and pull it through like a cow hitch. I'll hook into my ridgeline side and I'll hook back into the side that I'm pulling, and now I have a major mechanical advantage. And if my banners are real heavy, this is gonna prevent them from sliding down. When it's time to tie these off, I'll just hook right back through each unreasonable shackle, and then I'll tie off with a half hitch on a bite. Once, and then twice. There we go. I don't have a banner, but I do have a tarp, and we'll use that, uh, just use your imaginations here. Here are the soft shackles we made. At the top loop here, I'm just going to roll my thumb down to create a loop, and I'll roll it down again, and I'll pull that out. And the idea here is we have a slip knot at the top. I'll open that up, I'll pass my knot through on the other side, 
and then I'll close the slip knot so that we form our soft shackle. And this is not going to come undone. Another option is to take our loop on one side, pass it underneath, and then we'll take this and go over the top of our overhand knot. And then that will also be a secure hold. Here I'm going to take my loop and pass it through, and then I'll go over my line. Again, I'm going to pass it underneath and over the top. Then I'll pull it tight. So we have a windy day here, and we don't want our banner to bunch up. Obviously we can't leave it just like this because then they would be ineffective. So we're going to use another loop to help hold them into place. Alright, so here what we're going to do is take our loop. We want our knot to be offset from one of the sides. We're going to start wrapping it down our ridge line. Once we get a few wraps, we're going to start wrapping it back towards the loop we created. Okay, And then this loop here, we're going to pass it through the opposite side. And what we'll end up getting once this tightens up is a hitch that grabs onto our rope and does not allow it to slip. So we'll take our first soft shackle here. We're going to undo it and pass it through our little uh, hitch here. Let's go back through on top. And now we're getting places. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we can tension our hitch and tighten up our banner. Time to undo our unreasonable shackles here. This is the kind of rope it looks like Bill's using. So we'll start by cutting out a loop to help protect the poles that we're going to tie to. Here we're going to tie the same knot again. I believe this is called a lover's knot or a true love knot. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But it's two overhand knots on the opposite ends. And that's very secure there. Here we're just going around with a cow hitch. When we tighten up our rope, it's going to rub on whatever surface it's on and we don't want to damage any property. On this other end, we're going to tie in a stopper knot. We'll rotate our hand downwards to create a loop. We'll rotate that loop downwards. And then this little window we created, we're going to pull out our standing portion. We'll tighten everything down. And really what we end up with is a slip knot. Now with this slip knot, we're going to take our free end and push it through that window and then we'll tighten everything down. Now we're going to go around our secondary anchor point. We're going to wrap around and then we're going to go back through wrapping just like a timber hitch. We only need to do it a few times because we have our stopper knot and as this tightens down it'll prevent the banner from falling. We'll take a ridge line and pull in a bite and then our carabiner here we're going to poke through the window go all the way around and cow hitch in. There we go. Now this doesn't really matter how it lands. Either way, it's going to hold. Okay, so here's our ridge line, and then here's the end we're going to pull to get tension. What we want to do is grab a bite into our ridge line, and then our tension side, we're going to wrap it around once, twice, going clockwise. We'll pull it off, maintaining our window there and then turn it counterclockwise and put it right back on. Okay. Now that loop that we have, we need to secure it and that's going to go right into our carabiner. Now when we pull this rope, it's going to tighten down on itself. Let's take a close look. You can see when I pull on my tensioning side, as the tension goes in, the opposite rope pulls back down on what I was tightening and it locks it into place. So now I'm going to take a big run and we're going to tension our line. And then to make sure it doesn't come undone, we're going to take a bite and pull that into a half hitch. Once and then twice. There we go. So here's our ridge line. Now we need to set up our tarp. So I don't have a banner, but I do have a tarp using the same type of grommets. So use your imagination here. But this is what we're going to set up. 
We have four grommets going along the top of our banner here. And I'm just gonna use that simpler method through the loop, underneath and over the top. Okay. Now obviously we can't leave the banner just like this because the wind is gonna take it away. So that's where we include the corners with a special type of friction hitch. And now we're secure. I'm gonna pull this to the left to tension our banner. There we go. But this is what it would look like if you're tying up your banners. Bill, I hope this is helpful. If you folks have any questions or not ideas, please let me know.